Please sit down, everybody. Welcome to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. <laughs> Folks... <laughs> every day, it seems like we find out about another high-profile sexual harasser. And today is no exception. Brace yourself, because it's Senator Al Franken. He's been accused of kissing and groping a woman without her consent. Come on, Franken! I guess there are no good people left, so let's just get it over with. Just tell us whatever you did, Jimmy Carter, Barack Obama, Tom Hanks, <laughs> Malala. Oh, my. As a wow. fellow comedian, I long admired Al Franken. Yeah. You know, but I gotta say, this does not bode well for Louis C.K.'s Senate hopes. <laughs> Here are the details. Strap in. While touring with the USO in 2006, Franken wrote a sketch where he got to kiss the female MC, Leanne Tweeden. According to Tweeden, during rehearsal, he came at her, put his hand on the back of her head, mashed his lips against hers, and aggressively stuck his tongue in her mouth. Now, for those of you not in showbiz, actors call that technique sexual harassment. <laughs> and it didn't stop there. On the way home from the tour, she fell asleep on the plane, and Franken decided to take this goofy pic. Oh, boy. <laughs> that is admissible evidence. <laughs> so this is bad. Franken has responded, saying, I certainly don't remember the rehearsal for the skit in the same way, but I send my sincerest apologies to Leanne. As to the photo, it was clearly intended to be funny, but wasn't. I shouldn't have done it. Okay. Intended to be funny? But wasn't? No. Your movie, Stewart Saves His Family, was intended to be funny, <laughs> but wasn't. That photo was intended to embarrass her. That's why he did it while she was asleep. Nobody goes up to their buddy when he's awake and says, hey, can I draw a penis on your forehead? <laughs> Franken later released a more complete apology in which he said, I am asking that an ethics investigation be undertaken and I will gladly cooperate. Well, that's nice. It would be wrong if an ethics investigation was done without his consent. <laughs> of course, oh. Franken is just the latest politician accused of sexual harassment. All week, we've been talking about Alabama Senate candidate and man who buys his wardrobe at Party City, Roy Moore. Oh. Yesterday, you remembered. Oh. Yesterday, four, four, count them, four more women accused him of sexual misconduct, bringing the grand total to way too many. And good news for more, one of yesterday's accusers was not a minor. Woo? <laughs> I did not expect that. <laughs> this woman was 28 when she hired Moore to handle a custody petition, and when she went to his office to sign the papers, he asked questions about her young daughters and if they were as pretty as she was. Well, that's just family values, in that he values dating your entire family. Another new accuser says that Moore hit on her when she was 17 and working as a hostess at Red Lobster. Ugh. That is disgusting. Red Lobster. God intended shrimp to be limited. Apparently... No one's had the unlimited shrimp? All right. Apparently, Moore asked the teen out, and she said, do you know how old I am? To which he responded, yeah, I go out with girls your age all the time. <laughs> to which I respond, <laughs> 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 Remember, Monday we learned that Moore had been banned from his local mall, and apparently his behavior was so bad that Sears had a whole Roy Moore protocol. One store manager told new hires to watch out for this guy, and Moore's behavior caused women to hide from him when he came in the Sears. Okay, okay, welcome to training. Couple things to remember. Always wear your name badge on the floor, okay? You gotta cash out before you punch out. And if you see Roy Moore, pretend to be a mannequin. <laughs> Don't blink or he'll know you're a real girl. Oh, my. And of course, because we're talking about Roy Moore, these Sears employees were in high school. One of the women says that Moore asked her where she went to school and then for her phone number, which she says she declined to give, telling him that her father was a Southern Baptist preacher, would never approve. But that did not stop Moore. A few days later, the girl was summoned to the principal's office over the intercom in her classroom. She had a phone call. Uh, please report to the principal's office. An unidentified weirdo is calling for a high school student 
I have no problem making this happen because I am terrible at my job. <laughs> that is all. And the call, the call, thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. And the call didn't go so great. She answered the phone, and the mail on the other line said, Gina, this is Roy Moore. I was like, what? He said, what are you doing? I said, I'm in trig class. Oh, That's wow. impressive. Roy Moore actually made trigonometry the more appealing option. Huh. Now... Simple mathematics. the Rocky and PlayStation. All of these allegations have put Republicans in a tough position. They want to hold on to the Senate, but they don't want to back a perv. That's why Senate Majority Leader and inspiration for the sad face emoji, Mitch McConnell, <laughs> he thinks Attorney General Jeff Sessions should run against Moore as a write-in candidate. He fits the mold of somebody who might be able to pull off a write-in. The Alabamian who would you know, fit that standard would be the attorney general, right. who's totally well-known and extremely popular in Alabama. Yes, well-known and extremely popular in Alabama are the only criteria. So in that case, your other choices are Forrest Gump, <laughs> a statue of Bear Bryant, or a jug of sweet tea with sunglasses. <laughs> but I say sweet tea. It's gonna be sweet tea. I, li I like Probably. Forrest. I like Forrest. But Moore isn't afraid of the Washington Republicans tweeting, Dear Mitch McConnell, bring it on! A strong sentiment leading the head of the National Republican Senatorial Committee to tweet, Bring It On is a movie about high school cheerleaders. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. Ah, Amazing. A little Amazing. too close for comfort, there. Amazing. Damn. To which Roy Moore replied, And... Well, Moore is fighting back. Yesterday, one of his attorneys held a press conference intended to put all of this behind them. I've been with him in probably over 100 different meetings and been around probably in excess of 10,000 different ladies in Judge Moore's presence. And not once, not one time, have I ever seen him act even remotely inappropriate against any woman. Of course you didn't see it. You weren't in their trigonometry class. <laughs> But the main, the main thrust, the main thrust of yesterday's press conference was Moore's attorney trying to discredit a key piece of evidence, one of the accuser's high school's yearbook, which Moore signed. Release the yearbook so that we can determine, is it genuine or is it a fraud? Yeah, it could be a fraud. Let's compare Roy Moore's known signatures, okay, up here, known signatures, with that in the yearbook. See? Three totally different signatures <laughs> by the same guy. <laughs> now, the woman... The woman's attorney says they might let independent handwriting experts look at the yearbook, but you know what? I took a college course in handwriting analysis, and I think I can help. Now, let's see. Take this over here. Like right now, if you look up here, I'll turn this on its side, right here's the signature right down here. Now, if you look at the wide loop of the R up here, that's a classic forensic indicator that the accused might be hiding something. Plus, the elongated Y loop down here, <laughs> this stem down here, tells us he has no problem encroaching on the space of others. Now, <laughs> there's another very small indicator, and this is extremely technical, but if you look really closely, it's written in a girl's high school yearbook. <laughs> He's a prevert. <laughs> Today, Roy Moore held another press conference and began with a story about some advice a seasoned judge gave him in his early days in politics. What you need to do is, is have uh, eyeglasses. It shows people that you study a lot and read a lot. Then he said, and you, then you have to have... Uh, one other thing. He said, well, you have to have hem hemorrhoids. Uh, and I said, why? He said, well, it gives you a concerned look.
like this? <laughs> Are you holding a press conference about your butthole? <laughs> and more blasted the media for focusing on him. Today we got a call from one big magazine that you all recognize if I say the name. I don't want to say it. I'll say it. It's barely legal and they're looking for a new editor-in-chief. <laughs> But Moore was defiant. There's been comments about me taking a stand. Yes, I have taken a stand in the past. I'll take a stand in the future. And I'll quit standing when they lay me in that box and put me in the ground. You can take my teenage sales clerk when you pry her from my cold, dead hands. <laughs> uh...